Sound Sketch is a programmable, multi-effect guitar pedal designed around the Daisy Seed. It's based on the open source Daisy Seed Projects pedal, but I made some modifications for what I like to see in a pedal. It has expression and MIDI inputs, as well as stereo, audio input and output. It can be programmed to do just about anything, from reverbs to amp sims, delays, and things that haven't even been thought of yet. I'm going to show you a few examples of different effects I've come up with for the sound sketch. Thank you very much to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. The PCB featured in this video was manufactured and assembled by PCBWay's prototype service. I had five PCBs created, which is the minimum quantity, and two of them were fully assembled on the top side. My boards use ENIG Immersion Gold with four layers, and I was assisted through every step of the process. I'd highly recommend checking out PCBWay for cost-effective PCB prototyping and great customer service.
Now that you've heard what the pedal can sound like, let's talk about the hardware itself. The name SoundSketch comes from the fact that this is not for just one pedal idea, but as a platform for quick prototyping of different effects. That's why I don't have specific labels for the knobs, they are just knobs 1 through 6, and the toggles simply have three dots to indicate their three positions. I'll mainly be creating guitar effects, but I'd also like to explore keyboard over MIDI, and even effects intended for vocals or other instruments. The enclosure is a size 125B, with drilling and UV printing services from Tida Electronics. Now let's talk about the PCB. This is a four-layer printed circuit board that provides knob and switch control input, audio buffers, quiet true bypass relays, LEDs, MIDI, and expression. I started with the open source Daisy Seed Projects PCB, the one with the screen, and made modifications to the KiCad schematic from there. I really like that pedal. In fact, I've built four of them. But there are a few things I wanted to change to fit my own preferences as a pedal builder and musician. The first change I made was to remove the LCD screen. Screens are convenient and often necessary for multi-effects, but from an aesthetic standpoint, I don't really like screens on my pedals. So I removed the screen and the encoder, which is used to navigate the screen, and that freed up some room on the board and also on the Daisy Seed GPIO pins. Removing the screen from this design also freed up memory on the Daisy Seed, and to a lesser extent, processing power, that I can now use to focus solely on programming audio effects. The next thing I wanted to do to this design was add expression input. I really like having an external expression pedal. It adds so much control over effects. Not to mention, if you're in the middle of playing guitar, you don't want to bend over to turn on some knobs. I also wanted to use the full size 1 4 inch jacks instead of the 1 8 inch jacks for both expression and MIDI. These take up quite a bit of space on the board, so other changes were made to accommodate the larger jacks. I decided to move both the MIDI and expression circuits underneath the daisy seed. This allowed room for knob and toggle controls. I'm using six 16 millimeter right angle potentiometers for the knobs, with two three-way toggle switches in between the potentiometer mounts. There's very little room here, so I have to use electrical tape as insulation around the base of the toggle switches so they don't so short out the potentiometers. That's not ideal, but it was necessary to make this design work. I added a third three-way toggle in between the LEDs at the bottom. At this point, the overall control layout is very similar to my Funbox pedal, which is convenient from a software standpoint, since that can be compatible with the sound sketch with only minor changes. The audio input and output buffers, as well as true bypass relays, are the same as the Daisy Seed Projects pedal, with slight adjustments to fit the layout. One thing that I wasn't happy with about the Funbox is the amount of noise inherent in the design. The sound sketch PCB greatly reduces the noise to a point I'm very happy with. It uses a four layer design with two ground planes sandwiched between power and signal on the front side and additional control signals on the back side. It also uses high quality op amps with an audio specific op amp on the daisy seed output. Also circuits with different purposes are physically separate from each other on the PCB. Audio input and output are all handled at the bottom of the board. The digital daisy seed sits above the main board in the center. And the knob and controls, with the exception of the one at the bottom, are all located together towards the top, along with expression and MIDI inputs. The 9 volt power input and 5 volt regulator are located at the very top of the board. One final difference with this board is that I decided not to mount the power jack on the board. One reason for this is space on the PCB, but the other reason is because with these DIY pedals, it's hard to have internal jacks mounted on the PCB to line up perfectly with a cutout in the enclosure. Using a separate power jack that's bolted to the enclosure looks and feels better in my opinion. 
I also decided not to have a cutout for the Daisy Seed USB port. This means that I do have to physically take the Daisy Seed out to flash new programs, but for aesthetic reasons, I don't like to have the cutout going to the internal port. Speaking of the Daisy Seed, I wanted to give a brief overview of that board, as some people may not be familiar with it. It's a product from a company called Electrosmith, and it was designed specifically for digital audio effects. If we look at the board itself, it is as small as a stick of gum. The main processor is an M7 Cortex chip, which is the most powerful member of the STM32 microcontrollers offered by ST Microelectronics. It has 64 megabytes of dynamic memory that you can use for delay lines, audio samples, or other kinds of data structures. It also has the audio codec, which provides stereo analog to digital and digital to analog conversion at 24 bit rate and 96 kilohertz samperoid. It also has eight megabytes of flash memory that can be used for persistent storage. All of these features from the PCB and the Daisy Seed come together to make what I think is the most professional looking and sounding digital pedal that I've made up to this point. I will definitely be spending time thinking about new effects for this platform. Thank you very much for watching this video and feel free to check out my GuitarML website as well as other videos on this channel for more of my work with guitar pedals and plugins. Mm -hmm.